All right, ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to the Afro Matt Show featuring, as always, co-host Expecial, also, uh, you know, the general stud of the area, um, mentally damaged, handicapped, mentally challenged, the resident you retard mentally himself. challenged twice. <laughs> Fuck, let's restart that. <laughs> <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to the Afro Matt podcast featuring Nick Mick Retard. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to the Af. <laughs> Wait, it's all fucked up. Afronic. Afronic. You're listening to the Afronic <laughs> show with your host, Nick. And your co-host, Matt, he didn't do any of the work. I'm here today. Matt's my side host. He's mm-hmm. playing with some shit over there, but we have some very interesting shit to talk to you about today, and I actually only know two things we're talking about, but apparently Matt has a lot of stuff planned, and it's going to be amazing. Also, <sighs> wait, Matt. That means hold it. If anybody watching the video right now can see this big fucker, like Giga Kermit, I was just thinking and talking about to Matt right before we started. Do you think it's reasonable to want to give this guy scratches? Matt gave him under the chin. I gave him on top of the head. That's about it. I'm scared that that Kermit will come alive. If he comes alive, that'd be terrifying. But if he was like a non-self-aware domestic animal, this guy would be cute as fuck. Domestic animal. Kermit the domestic animal. None of these other guys, though. The littler guys are scary, but I could get behind this fucker. All right. <laughs> All right, weirdo. <laughs> Let's All get into right. it. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to the <laughs> Afro Matt Show featuring Nick Mick Challenged. And um, you know him. He's my co-host. Always here. Always chilling. Always doing his own thing. He's the resident short, short bus driver. Nick, what do you got to say? You're a fucking douche <laughs> for introducing me like that. We've got Matt. He just shaved. He looks like a lesbian. I do. I have such lesbian. I posted this on my story. I have such lesbian. I, I get lesbian vibes Insert from myself. Story. When I, yeah, I get lesbian vibes when I shave because I look like I am going to tell you about gender studies and how it's an actual like profession and it's useful and you did and get I'm, some backlash for that right uh well i posted on my story and i said i look like a gender studies lesbian i'm done <laughs> and i got responded to someone swiped up on that story someone i went to high school with who is a gender studies lesbian and just like said a real dead ass and it's just an said gender studies lesbian well she's probably a gender studies lesbian or she's just like what is it what do they call it liberal arts liberal Same liberal thing. arts something you know she's probably you know a creative writer of course and or something you know um but yeah she has her gender she has gender pronouns in her bio she swiped up and she said yup in all caps which there's nothing wrong with that because you no, no. have gender pronouns I have in your my, bio i have my i have my pronouns in my bio just so but people that's know. just because i'm i'm deeply um sympathetic to their problem not that it's a problem but okay Matt. their situation i'm i'm sympathetic yeah. to the situation and i know how hard it is to not feel included and needing to fix it how's the orange in that the orange in this is actually pretty good I poured, it's like um you know how they put an I orange brought, in um i brought imperial voodoo ranger ipa to matt's house we are drinking Imperial Voodoo Ranger. And he put an orange in it, which is rather unorthodox, and he's sipping on it. Can you actually taste the orange in it? I just I just thought it was kind of like a blue moon. You know, like a blue moon? Yeah. Blue moons always come out with an orange on it. I'm like, oh, it kind of tastes like a blue moon. So I'm like, let's just squeeze some uh, orange in it. Genius. And, um, you know, it's working out. It's good. Um, it's a pretty strong beer. It's like nine percent. No, it's very strong. I have, I am on my second one for the night. <laughs> yeah, second one of the last thirty minutes. Yeah. Uh, um, Nick is at least five beers in, which is the equivalent of like ten, 10 because they're double beers. Missing my vape. And I'm about. I need to I'm rip about my two in. Vape. Do you need to go get Nick? 
Go get <laughs> you your. Take a pause break. Go get your nick. Are you good? Do you want some, or are you relapsing? No, you can go get I'm your nick. Exposing you. Go get your nick. Nick, go nick it. Go nick. Go get your nick. Where do you think it is? <sighs> are you just gonna go get it? Hey everyone, Matt's gone. He's literally being my little slave bitch, and that's exactly where I want him. He's grabbing me, my vape. It's all he's good for. I'm just kidding, I love Matt. He's like my only friend. I hope he's not coming back yet. I think we're good. Um, He put an orange in his beer. Comment, how do you guys feel about that? Orange? Orange beer? Is that silly? Uh, he's still looking for it. He can't find it. Maybe I have it in my pocket this whole time, and I'm fucking with him just to get him to go away. Matt can't find it. He's doing something in there. He's probably playing with his huge dick. Matt has a huge dick. His dick is the biggest I've ever seen. Hey, I couldn't find it. No. Did you bring my no, hat? Dude. No, it's next to me. Why'd you bring my hat in here? Is it because I'm wearing the wrong hat for the podcast? My fucking bad, bro. Dude, I just shouted you out, by the way, while you were gone. You gave me a... You hyped me up? Yeah, I hyped you up. You hyped me up? I said your dick was huge. <clears throat> All right, well... <laughs> Welcome. What were we talking about? <clears throat> well, that, well in, in this podcast, we tried to maintain a sense of realism, bringing you the facts, mm-hmm. or, or what we know as to be fact at the time when we bring it to you. Um, and what Nick just said about my penis is false. <laughs> Whoa, dude, I don't know if you know this, but I was sucking your cock right now. Mm-hmm. While so you were can't... gone, while you were gone, I said Matt has the biggest penis. It was something like that. It was like Matt has a huge cock. Really? You know the thing I do when you leave? I'll show and it you're right like, now. You're like, I'll leave. Okay, replay. <laughs> just do the replay where I say whatever I say. But you know the thing I do where I'm like, I get right in the mic and I'm like, Matt has the biggest fucking cock in the fucking world. It's huge. I know because we haven't admitted this on the podcast yet, but he fucks me really fucking good because he's not happy with Natasha. (laughs) And we're back. (laughs) Allegedly. And we're back. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I just wanted to start off by saying um, thank you for all the support. Thanks for following. Thanks for the support. What? No, we already did the intro. Wait, does any. Wait, then why'd you say just start off? (sighs) Okay, let's just. (laughs) <laughs> Let's just restart the whole shit. <clears throat> do you mind if I do that? <laughs> do, or do, were you actually accepted by the challenged bit? By the mentally challenged Dude, bit? No, I, okay. That was funny. I don't give a okay, fuck. Okay. No, put it raw. Like, literally don't edit anything from what we, we have started. <laughs> Wait, except I think there was some bad words said that, that don't need to be said. And you're going to have to look for it. <clears throat> fuck. But we're good right now. Go ahead. Just jump into your first thing. Okay. Um, Back on the show. So... We are coming to you. It's another Thursday afternoon, Mm -hmm. Thursday evening, deep into the day. On a Wednesday. On a Wednesday. It's a Thursday. (laughs) When we're coming to you, we're coming to you live on a Thursday on a Saturday. Because we record on a Thursday. We did record. This is. So we are recording this on a Saturday, and it is going to have Wednesday vibes, but it's going to air on Thursday. No, no. No, yeah, I got it backwards. We record. Every day we record on Thursday. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. Um, You didn't get the bit. <laughs> Dude, this is a okay. This is off the rails. Okay, I'm just gonna restart. We're gonna restart. Okay. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Afro Matt Show, featuring me, myself, and of course, my co-host Nick McChallenged, uh, head of the short bus. He so rides much. it to school. No, you can't cut this off. What? This is beautiful. This, this is only for comedic value, what you're doing right now, because everything... <laughs> can you just get to your first point? I think okay, you need to get okay, to your first okay. point. We, All right. We're good. Let's just start. Let's just start. Fuck it. Fuck it. We're ten minutes in. <laughs> yeah, we are ten minutes it. in, and we haven't talked about literally we've been anything. we to redo the intro. We have not done a single thing. I literally thing. gave a whole rant about how big your dick is and greed. I didn't talk about what I wanted to yet. I did not verse the scripture. But, greed? Yeah. Oh God! And you can cut it out because <laughs> I don't think they're ready for this it. Is, oh God, dude, this is this is gonna be a pain in the ass to edit. I don't know where to start. <laughs> I won't know where to start in this podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Afro <laughs> Matt Show, featuring Nick McChallenge. He was uh, the rider of the short bus. He goes to school on the short bus. That's the joke. Get Not it? Not in school. 
He's not in school, but when he was in school, he drove the short bus. And I didn't ride the short bus. I actually drove my own car to school. Was it a short bus? No, it was a Ford 500 2006. That was my first car. Did you ever crash your car? Yes. Yeah. I feel like everyone's first car, they crash. That's one time, why it's a first car. Dude, one time I was so tired going to college class, I woke up, I hallucinated, or maybe it wasn't a hallucination, and I literally almost died, but I thought... Like, I was driving, and you know how you go, go into, like, autopilot when you're driving sometimes? Oh, yeah. And it's kind of like you go brain-dead mode? I was driving on my way to school. I passed the train tracks, and I heard, Meow, like, the like the train, and I, I looked left, and it was right there. Literally, not even a car's length away from me to the left, barreling towards me. I have a... Like, maybe I hallucinated that, but it traumatized me. I came to school, and I was, like, kind of shaking, I'm like, dude, I almost just, maybe I just died. But then I'm like, was I asleep? Was it like a sort of a thing that I thought of or willed into existence? You know how they say? I was, there was this thing where I went to court and I was looking at my girlfriend because she's so, she was so beautiful. I'm not hung up on it, Matt. <laughs> okay. But I was looking at her and I was backing out. I'm going through a tough time right now. But I hit this chick. What are we talking about? Autopilot? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you're talking about this there, there girl. There's a point to this. I had to go to court because okay. I was looking at someone else, and I was on an autopilot, and I tried to back out, and we both back out, and it doesn't work out, and mm. then I hit her, and she doesn't have her insurance, and she says I was begging the cops not to come when that's not the way it was. Mm. I simply realized that we made a collision that young people would make, but she was kind of a bitch about it. Dude, I, I hate that. Once the parents become involved, it becomes about money. Like when it, when it when it's just a when a student hits a student, it's just kind of like, oh, we both fucked up. They're both scared. But once the once the parents start getting involved, it's like money. We're talking money. We're talking lawyers. We're talking that's what they want situation. That's right. Yeah, it's fucked up. <clears throat> One time I um I got hit in the back of my car by this kid named Jake. You remember him? Yeah, Jake Powell. He said he's gonna meet you at Casey's. Yeah, but, I mean, dude, didn't. I was I so stupid. I was so stupid because I'm like, I was scared of him because he went to the school for he the... He went to Crossroads. He went for, yeah, he went to the school for the people that got kicked out of school for, for like, fighting. For, for only doing bad things. You only so I'm go like, to Crossroads if you attempt to murder I'm someone. I'm like, okay, we can we can settle this without, like, cops or anything. And I'm like, just meet at Casey's and you can give me the 10, 100 bucks. And, of course, making this makes sense now, but he's like, yeah, no, I'm, okay, sure whatever and then he never shows up which is i mean smart i wouldn't do that either but then i'm like okay well because i wanted the money and i'm like yo um how about you um how about you just i just gave him my address i said put it in my mailbox <laughs> but, but but you went to casey's and he never showed up yeah and i'm like cool because i didn't want to meet him face to face because i thought he was going to kill me because he's a crossroads kid yeah it's just a stigma they had. Yeah. They had that kind of scared. They had that scary vibe, and I was like, I was kind of like a small little shrimp of a man. Well, I still am, but uh, like you know, kind of scared, kind of skittish. Yeah. Non-confrontational. I can can I get into the Krispy Kreme thing? <clears throat> okay. Just yeah. Real quick. First, I first thing. Yeah, yeah. You can, throw it you out. can have the rest of whatever you want. That's okay. whatever. Yeah. There's something really interesting. I gave Matt a tiny bit of a spoiler, but he doesn't know what's really going on yet. Uh, mm -hmm. Krispy Kreme actually had a promotion, and here's the promotion. I'll go ahead and read the headline for you. Krispy Kreme vaccine giveaway. Free donut and coffee offer on Mondays. No COVID vaccination required. No COVID vaccination. So, whether or not you've had a COVID-19 vaccine, Krispy Kreme has a freebie for everyone on Mondays through the 24th. This is over now, but it's something a lot of people overlook, so I wanted to talk about it. Unlike the chain's free donuts for the rest of the 2021 giveaway that requires showing a valid COVID-19 vaccination card, everybody is eligible to take part in Krispy Kreme's Monday promotion for a free medium coffee and a free original glazed donut. So that's all I need from the article because I already know what's up. I need to talk to you about this. Anybody that can present their vaccination card to Krispy Kreme. The vaccination pa passport yeah, or whatever. Gets a free glazed donut, and you can go there all year and get a glazed donut every single day. Really? I thought you said every it was over. No. Really? No, They're doing it? A, let, let me keep going. Okay. So you can go there every day and get a free fucking donut from Krispy, 
Krispy Kreme, the gods. Cops go there. Cops like donuts. So okay. Ha- wait, Matt, I'm not done. Okay. Now, if you are not vaccinated, and they literally said in their reports they respect people that choose not to get vaccinated because mm-hmm. it's all a marketing thing. And they said, if you don't get vaccinated, you can come here and get a donut. And on this specific day, you can get a donut and a free coffee. On what day? The 24th, I'm pretty sure. Of every month? It it was one day. It doesn't really matter what it is. No, Mm. not every month. So if you get vaccinated, you get a free donut every day. But if you don't get vaccinated, there's one day where you get a donut and a coffee. Wow. So... I just kind of wanted to get your opinion on that. I thought that was something you'd like. So if you don't okay. get vaccinated, you get rewarded more on one day, but everyone else gets rewarded for a year on getting glazed donuts. Okay, well, let me blow your mind for a second. Are you ready to have your mind blown? Yeah, sure. Krispy Kreme gives free donuts every day to any, literally anyone. Is that true? Yeah, you know, anytime so you wait. see the red light on at Krispy Kreme's means that you can walk in there and get a free donut? No way. Yes. So this is just fake propaganda. <laughs> yes. Is what you're telling me. But what about the coffee? What about the coffee? Well, the coffee... Okay, listen to this. How about this? Okay. Okay, how about it? So, how do they know that you haven't been vaccinated? A person who has been vaccinated can show up and say they haven't been vaccinated. Are you saying you can get the free donut every day and come back and say you haven't been vaccinated yes. and get the coffee? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Double dip. Double dunk. That's a good point. I mean, I'm sure there's new new employees or, like, different shifts. They're like, don't you come in every day for your free COVID vaccine donut? And, mm-hmm. dude, how, how crazy how crazy is it that Krispy Kreme, this is what's, this is what's going to make the world, this is what's going to make America, this is what it took to get America to do vaccines, is Krispy Kreme giving out free donuts. Like, soon enough, you're going to be... Okay, guys, get in line, and we'll vaccinate you through the hole of the donut, and then you got to keep the donut afterwards, you know? Mm-hmm. The needle goes through the hole in the donut, and then they're like, now you got to keep the donut, big man. Go along, big man. Okay, but do you think— Now, do you I have think, a question about the vaccine. Okay. Are, if, you're, if you're big, do you have to get more injected into you? Like a fat— Okay, quite— Like a fat person cut— <laughs> Like a fat person. We're Okay. Yeah, yeah we're back. Wait, wait, we're pretending like it's yeah. not even cut. No, no, Don't no, say no, we're it's, back. No, no, it's it's just gonna be like, it's <clears> gonna, gonna be it's wait, gonna be a can, Yoda scream or can, something. Can you make this a seamless cut? Yeah, you said f- No no Yes no, you no. Said f- we're making this a seamless cut. Like a fat person, which is where I just stopped what I was talking about. <laughs> I had a good point, Matt, and I forgot it because of what we just okay, said. Okay, so I said injections. Does it take more injection for a fat person? Um, no. Because cause this, this injection goes into you and it reprograms your DNA and all your DNA is the same. Hmm. <laughs> over. Marge Simpson's getting horny. I'm already over. <laughs> is that your Marge Simpson? Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Do your Apu. God damn it. Come back to the Quickie Mart and come in my butt, please. Here to cut all of this. <laughs> um, <clears throat> anyway, right. no, Matt. Crick, Krispy Kreme gives free donuts to everyone mm-hmm. every day. Yeah. If you just show up during the red light. Okay, so how do I get in on this? Is the red light a specific time? Yeah. It's usually like when the sun's going down can you drive through Krispy Kreme and get a free donut I don't think you can you have to walk in how come I haven't heard about this I like donuts really I I used to go all the time I still go sometimes when I'm passing Krispy Kremes and I see that there's a red light on I'm and it's like the ultimate sleazebag move you just go in and you're like I'm here for my free donut slut give me it and then I'm leaving yeah no nothing not a coffee yeah you're just like free donut and I'm out and then you can, and then I put down in a, and here's the best move. You go in with the mask, go out, put a hat on, new mask, walk back in, get another one, leave, put on some glasses, new mask, new hat, 
Get another one. Shave your beard. Do it 12 times, and you got yourself a free you dozen donuts. You have yourself donuts. a dozen donuts. You have yourself a dozen free donuts. That's pretty easy. Just shave a little bit of your mustache every time you go Look, in. you just shave the sides. Now you got to go You tea. have to bring a lot of shirts. I would say you have to bring a lot of shirts. A they lot of shirts. Your shirt. Yeah, true. You can't wear anything iconic. A lot of shirts. Hmm, that could be good. Maybe some black... Going one time as black okay. with blackface. all right. Anyway, Krispy Kreme does this because they're a giant corporation. And what would you say what would you say this entails? What what personality trait do they have, Matt? Cuz they're trying to appease everyone. You get a free coffee if you don't agree with COVID. And a they're donut. playing they're playing both sides of the field. They're playing both. They're saying if you but don't if that? you have if you have the vaccine, we're going to be giving you free donuts for a year. And if you don't have the vaccine, we're giving you free donuts for the year mm -hmm. at a certain time. Mhm. Mm right no if you don't have the vaccine only on one day do you get oh this is what i was gonna say that i forgot oh and we're back if you don't have a covid vaccine they're giving you a coffee and a donut but it's mm -hmm. only one day it's a specific day that this happened yeah is it because they're having one of those parties where they want everyone to get covid at the same time mm. therefore increase oh well why would they want to do that wouldn't they want to decrease it's the like amount a pox of people? Party. Don't they want to decrease the amount of people getting the vaccine if they were greedy? No, they want to increase it. No, they would want to no, decrease. Well, they would want to decrease the amount of people getting the vaccine. I'm surprised Krispy Kreme's not out there spreading anti-vax propaganda. Okay. But listen, they're they're playing they're playing both sides, right? Mm-hmm. They're just telling you what you want to hear. They're they're like your shittiest, dirtiest, most trash friend. The guy that's toxic, but you don't call him out. Oh. But he's everywhere. Okay, what what trait would you say that guy has? Tox toxic. He's toxic. He's fake. He's he's okay. two sided, two faced, he's fake? two faced fraud. But if it's for he's a fake and a fraud. A Get fake, over here. If, if he's a fake fraud, what is it? He's a fake and a fraud. If he's a fake and a fraud. What trait does he have? He has biblically flaky. Biblically, <laughs> and God said on the third day, let there be no flakes. Biblically. Biblically, he has of a seven. If it was one of the seven deadly seven sins, seven deadly sins. We have sloth, yeah, envy, yeah, um, gluttony, okay, gluttony, crispy mm. clean cream, gluten, gluten, gluttony. It sounds for no, okay. No, gluttony is literally Matt. filling your mouth with food. Okay, yeah, I get it, but you're not on the same wavelength. Keep going. Okay, <laughs> okay, gluttony, lust. Okay, <laughs> fuck that donut, dude. Have you ever been so like on a, like on a dry streak and you look at a Krispy Kreme donut in the middle? And it's just Have you seen that, the jelly filled nice donuts? Glaze. Dude, don't get me started. The jelly filled donut. I'm gonna fill that de de those donut jelly with a donut's gonna make me act up. I, I when I go to Krispy Kremes, I ask for a non filled jelly filled donut. So and you I fill, can up, fill it. So I can fill it myself. <laughs> okay, keep I going. Say, keep. They're I, like they're like. Are you sure? I'm like, nah. I got the filling. Keep going about the the okay, other thing. Lust. Jesus. Lust. Okay. Gluttony, sloth, um, mm -hmm. envy, mm -hmm. um, greed. Okay. <laughs> All right, greed. Here's the thing. So I always keep I always keep this fucking thing on me. If y'all can't see it, it is the Satanic Bible written by Anton Zandor to Anton Zandor Levay, and on page forty six, he actually discusses um. A little bit about greed, which is going to help us understand what's going on with Krispy Kreme right now. So I thought I'd just bring it up right here. And this is the philosophy I live my life by. There's a lot of sexual kind of rituals you can do in here. And it's it's what I do. Just everything I base my life off of this. The seven deadly sins of the Christian church are greed, pride, envy, anger, gluttony, lust, and sloth. Satanism advocates indulging in each of these sins as they all lead to physical, mental, or emotional gratification. A Satanist knows there's nothing nothing wrong with being greedy. Matt, you know, like I've talked to you about this. You know I'm a complete Satanist. I love sacrificing goats. All of that shit. As it only means he wants more than he already has. Listen, I need you to really listen to this. I'm, I'm going to repeat it one I'm time. Listening. A Satanist knows there's nothing wrong with being greedy as it only means that he wants more than he already has. Envy means to look with favor upon the possessions of others and to be desirous of obtaining similar things for oneself. Envy and greed are the motivating forces of ambition, and without ambition, very little of any importance would be accomplished. So can you really blame Krispy Kreme? What? <laughs> can you really blame Krispy Kreme? Well, wait, wait, wait. So, 
I have a I have a counter argument to this because if Krispy Kreme was really greedy, they would be advocating for people not to get vaccine vaccinations so they no, don't have to give. No, that would they... cancel them. Canceled. Canceled. Like well, everyone else. Of course, they would be canceled. True. True. Mm-hmm. But this this is literally that is greed. That is greed. They are playing both sides of the situation, and they don't care what happens. They're like, if you don't get vaccinated, here you go. Like, you think mm. when you read the first part of the press com- press conference, it's like, yeah, you're getting rewarded for for being vaccinated. And then at the second part, they're like, but if you don't get vaccinated and you want to spread COVID and you want to keep this pandemic going longer than it needs to. Hmm. I see what you're saying. You get saying. a coffee as well. I see what you're saying, but I don't think that's greed. But it's greed. only for one day. I don't think that's greed. Greed is like they it's want re- money. They're giving away shit. Okay, well, they're giving away shit, but imagine, you, do you know that this applies to everybody in the United States? Which will make them think of Krispy Kreme and go back and think, wow, I was vaccinated. They treated me good. I'm going to spend my money there. Or I wasn't vaccinated. They treated me good. I'm going to spend my money there. Mm-hmm. Interesting. So is you that think, not crazy so that they're literally that... appeasing both sides, though? Well, they only... That they... is some shit, you know? Like, Ugh. if you have that toxic friend that is telling you on both sides just just what you want to hear, and he's not real to anybody, that is Krispy Kreme okay. right now. Well, Krispy Kreme is lame as fuck. You know what would be crazy, though? Is what? if Krispy Kreme did, like, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday... Those vaccination, those are vaccination days, and uh-huh. the days in between them are non-vax days that you get free food. So you come in for a donate on non-vax day, and then you have to go, you have to wait the next day. So it's so, it's almost it's not that intense though, right? Because what they're doing is they have it for a fucking year for people that are vaccinated, and just one day for people that are non-vaccinated. Now that would be ultimate greed, and ultimate like forgetting that people are retarded and that you're not just appeasing people Krispy Kreme they're in it they're in it deep they're pretending like they want to appease both sides but they're in in their in their business they're leaning towards people that are vaccinated which I could argue is good if the vaccines are fucking good right but they're also appeasing the fucking rednecks that don't want to get the vaccine including you Matt I'm not a redneck who doesn't want to get the vaccine. <laughs> right. I just don't want to be part of the first group of people getting the vaccine. If that makes sense. I don't want to be part of the, the, well, the OGs. Also, the here's OG the problem. Squad. Here's I mean, the I, problem. I feel like the people right now are getting the Johnson, Johnson, the Johnson, problem whatever, is, whatever, you the, know, the that Moderna, the, the, the Pfizer, the Johnson, Pfizer. Johnson, exit 69. The problem is, you know, that <laughs> the vaccine does come with a nanobot that the government is allowed to turn on anytime they want and turn you into a zombie. No, they can't. They can. No, it, dude. You nanobot. Know how, dude. There is a nanobot in that vaccine, bro. <clears throat> okay. What would be... what? Okay, what's more scary? A nanobot in you or something that can literally change your DNA? They're both fucking terrifying. I'm just saying. It doesn't have to be a nanobot to Literally, be scary. but that's actually what it advertises. That's exactly what it is. Because it's not a, it's not something that injects like a half-dead virus into you and your body learns to fight it. It's something that literally does penetrate your DNA and teach you how to fight it. And we're not scientists. Well, I'm not a scientist. He's not a scientist, but I'm saying- I actually am a scientist. Okay, yeah. He went to Harvard school. Okay, we get it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm literally one class away from graduating as a minor in literally genealogy. Okay. <laughs> in literal vi- vi- virology? Vi- genealogy. Virology genealogy genealogy it's actually what is that what is that, that that's what thing? i am in school for. dnaology denology denology yeah listen Denalo- this, shit, this shit fucks your deoxyribonucleic acid and makes you want to murder everyone that does not agree with the government <laughs> i am took I a class part, am i gonna it? have to put a disclaimer on this <laughs> <laughs> okay you good I'm good. I love I love how we just get on these rants that absolutely have nothing to do with what we have planned. Well, we, whatever I have this planned. Is the, this is the I'm intro. Planned. This is the intro. Like, literally, there's a Google Doc up there, and there's absolutely fucking nothing up there that we have talked about. Well, and it's probably been, like, 30, 30 minutes? What? It's been 31 minutes. Has it really? Yeah. Well... Whatever, whatever we talk about, it, it, it's it's look. This isn't a scripted off the podcast. Cuff. It's off, off the cuff. cuff. It's off yeah. the cuff. And we just have my 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 thing literally says, David and James, James Charles are gone. 
That's that's the top. That's Did literally. Did James Charles it. get canceled harder? Is well, that what you want to talk about? Well, I, I just have that because we haven't talked about it since then. But um, James Charles and David Dobrik are both on, heads on the chopping block. Does this? Do you want to sit this, down? You look uncomfortable. Does bro. this have to? Do, does this have to? <laughs> you do look with, like you're ready to pounce, bro. Does it, you're does, on the ground. I, I feel like on, on edge. Bro. Are you pulling it back to Mac? <laughs> Am I too loud? I just feel like you're you're ready to pounce. You're giving me does, anxiety, bro. Does David like, Dobrik crouch does down? This, does this have to do with David Dobrik and the shooting of the eight Asians or six? My bad. The the um, way he treated them. <laughs> I'm not gonna steal Tim Dillon's joke, but that's a good one. No, 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 I, no, no. I wanted not, to play. I wanted to play something wait, for you. Wait, was that a joke? Yes. What do you mean? <laughs> okay. I saw the, I I literally contrary, saw the video of him saying I don't usually shoot people unconsensually. <laughs> so go ahead. Contrary, and tell me. contrary to popular belief, David Dobrik did not shoot the people in those massage parlor parlors. I know that's what a lot of the news is saying. Are you serious? But it's fake news. Are you serious? It is fake news. David Dobrik was the reason he is canceled is because he um, one of his friends. Uh, probably most likely R-worded someone, and I'm not talking about retard. What? I thought it had I thought it had to do with making out with old people that you you weren't consenting. Okay, with. well that's part of it too. So it came oh, in he's waves. Getting mega canceled. No, he's getting no. So that's the thing. It's like a pile on. So it's like you get one and then you get the another and then you get Yikes, another. Bro. So so they keep on digging farther back in his videos, which is going to happen to me eventually and they're going to find this video and they're going to be like, they're gonna be like oh, wow, you talked about stuff that was He said the retard lives. word. What? Uh. 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 <laughs> but so so they dig back and they found that he had a video where his friend Dom got um they were the video was like trying to get our friend to have a five some prank or something like that right and they invited his fans some of david dobrik's fans over to have a party with them and then they got him drunk and then they and then like three of them agreed to go into a room alone with dom and one of them turned out to be really drunk didn't remember in the morning and then one of the fans yeah and then she's they're like dude you had sex with dom last night and she was like, that real yes they fucked but yeah. they didn't remember it and and she's like and she's like what and then she was like traumatized by it and it's just now coming up now there's a big article posted about it um so yeah david dobrik got mega canceled he lost a ton of sub, a ton of sponsors chipotle um there's a huge dollar list shave of club. dollar shave club like pretty much everyone who's with him uh is not with him now um he lost a ton of his supporters for his um, app called Dispo. A ton of his investors left it, um, and now to James Charles. James Charles is pretty much getting canceled because he's a child predator. I was Simple gonna ask, is this because he he messaged another kid his dick? Because that's what he does, and he 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 keeps getting a pass for it. I mean, he keeps doing it. The dude has a problem. He can't stop. Yeah. <laughs> the funny thing is, you want to watch the you want to watch the video. I have the link. We could. You want to watch the video? Yeah. Okay, well, let's let's watch. But the we video. need to. All right, and we are back. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. We are watching the James Charles apology. Uh, apology. Yeah. Yeah. One of these comes out every month. Apology. Right? Apology slash confession. Hello everyone, James Charles here, and today I'm going to be making a very important video about a very important topic. As many of you guys know, about two years ago now, I was involved with a very public online scandal in which some fellow YouTubers made some very serious accusations against me. And within the past couple of weeks, similar accusations are being made again. And I think it's very important that I get on camera and talk to you guys honestly about what is going on. Uh, when this first happened two years ago, I uploaded a video to my channel called No More Lies. And that video was a very planned video. It focused on receipts and screenshots and defending myself in the situation. But I want you guys to know that this video that I'm gonna be making today is going to be nothing like No More Lies. Uh, this is not exactly planned. I don't have a script. I will let you guys know that I do have just some notes in front of me of points that I wanna make because this is a very, very serious topic. Uh, but today's video is going to be from the heart and I'm gonna focus on what happened, uh, the conclusions that I've come to, and the most important. Do you want to try to ad-lib the rest of the 
thing. Just try to do your own impression of him. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. I'm gonna. <clears throat> I'm gonna. Dude, wait, let's listen to more. And I then... raped a little kid. And I'm Poorly holding like myself I accountable for my own actions. First and foremost. First and foremost. First and foremost. Is that good? First you sound and foremost. Like Kermit. First and foremost. First and foremost. Miss Piggy was of age. <laughs> <laughs> I sent some videos to some people that I shouldn't have. I need to say sorry. Um, I owe a massive apology to... I owe a massive apology to... Uh... Dude, I just don't want to sound like a... Like a what? Like a, like a, like a normal gay person, you know? Like li really lispy? Don't they talk with like a lisp? I mean, he talks like a gay guy. Ducks like a guy anybody that, that I hurt accent. or anybody that I made uncomfortable with my actions. And I also want to say my actions. Am I wearing my cock hat? You are wearing your cock hat. That you brought out? That I brought out. I was just <clears> going to wear my regular hat. So pretty much James Charles literally confessed to um, sending video or sending... Dude, you know what's weirdest is that he asked... Like some of his requests are some of the strangest like fetishes I've ever heard in my life he, he asked this one person to send a video of he said put the phone on the put the phone on the floor in the shower and then flex and show me your body hair how does that how does that accentuate your body hair for one what putting it on the shower floor no he's flexing. like he's like show me your armpit show me your chest while it's on the floor yeah or like while it's like on the wherever propped up the dude, the dude yeah. is the dude is disturbing. The yeah. dude is dis deeply I mean, disturbed. It's not Army Hammer. It's not Army Hammer it's, level, but it's, it's it's definitely not Army Hammer. But but it, but but it might be Andy uh, or and wait, what's that guy's name? Uh, damn it, what's that guy's Andy, name? Andy's frozen custard. No, the guy who plays the guy who plays Woody, but not the guy who plays Woody. Tim Allen. Yes. Did Woody Tim Allen no, do weird Woody, shit? no, Woody Allen. Oh. It's almost Woody Allen level, but not... I mean, that's deeply disturbing. We talked about that last time, though. He, like... He adopted his kid and then later married his kid after sexually assaulting oh, multiple that's times right. the kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Super cool dude. Yeah. It's very um, cool. Yeah, super cool. My idol. Yeah, I mean, that guy's... I mean, I don't even know any movies. Apparently, so many movies has been have been made by Woody Allen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's what's what it's his job. So I mean, it's what it is. Um, let's see, Reddit news. So this is this might have been a while back, but Reddit literally hired. Okay, let me just read the read the news thing. Um, Reddit hired a new trans admin, Amy Chandler, who had previously been a politician in the UK. Amy is publicly tied to two different instances of supporting pedophiles. Okay. All right. Her husband, an open pedo, posts erotic fiction about children. D that's deeply disturbing for one. And then she joined the Liberal Democrats and was removed when her husband tweeted that he fantasized about children having sex. They, that they later said the account had been hacked. And then um, her own father R-worded and abused a child in her own house. And she later, later hired him to be her campaign manager. And then Reddit enabled a protection for all posts criticizing her. So she's an admin on Reddit. So they hired her as an admin on Reddit, and these like people people on Reddit kind of like started asking questions like, "Why are you hiring this person?" It's like disturbing. How do you feel about that? Well, mm -hmm. the people the people in charge of what you see, uh, the medium in which you take in what you think is fact about the world. Mm -hmm. should definitely be rapists and they should definitely be child rapists at that well they are they okay you make a point 
they are. I was making a point based off what you just said. I'm I'm telling you, the people that are, you are just instilled, saying in general, are you about to go off? Um, the people that are instilled in points of power are people that have dirt that have that have people that have dirt on them. You know, mm-hmm. so people instill people in power that they can control and manipulate. The Jeffrey Epstein situation, people that get put. That's why Jeffrey Epstein has pictures of like. George Bush and literally Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton in a dress. It's like these compromising videos, photos, and stuff, so that he can control them. Not him, probably Ghislaine Maxwell can control them, manipulate them, and have this leverage over them. The people, I just assume at this point, if you are in a position yeah. of power, you you have uh, sexually misconduct. You have multiple sexual misconduct with multiple. We people. get we get enough viewers. How many people do you think? are actually listening to this that actually think about the Jeffrey Epstein case and think like wow that shit is fucked up and like what they're saying is true versus no he actually did kill himself the George Bush Bill Clinton shit is all fake no I don't think anyone thinks that because it's literally all true and it's literally all been proven but how how ignorant do you have to be to deny that I don't think I don't think a single person thinks that Jeffrey Epstein actually killed himself there is literal like the even when they even when they did the autopsy of him, there was a fracture in a bone that like only happens with like forced strangulation, not suicide. I mean, yeah, I don't. I mean, I you don't. Dude, you're, I mean, like the. I, I mean, you can beat I, this horse to death, but it's like Jeffrey Epstein just did not. I'm just saying. I think it's a very like that seems like a very. A touchy topic that people wouldn't think is real and it's like why would you not think that's real and it's because it goes against what our government says is true i know but if if the government says that jeffrey epstein killed himself and everyone if the government knows that's says a lie that, if the government says that bob lazar didn't have access to bone scanners that scanned through his hands and deleted him from the government and then years later redacted documents saying that yes we did scan people's bones when they were researching ufos with us i don't think you can believe anything they say Wait, is Bob Lazar the guy who was who says he saw a Bob a Lazar UFO? was the guy that the fucking government hired to reverse engineer the UFO alien spacecraft, the air, alien spacecraft, and then he said something about element whatever one forty seven or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. And then and then that guy when he created, oh, he got fired, right? And then he got canceled out of the world. You can yeah. go to his college and they said they had no records of him, mm-hmm. even though he had pictures of him with his graduating class. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, and so, she's lying. Dude, have you seen this clip of Charles Barkley like being woke as fuck? I've heard about it. He I haven't watched snapped, it. Yet. Like on live television. So it's like March Madness or whatever. Dude, let's watch this. Dude, he snapped. Man, I think most white people and black people are great people. I really believe that in my heart. But I think our system is set up where our politicians, whether they're Republicans or Democrats, are designed to make us not like each other. So they can keep their grasp of money and Pause power. It. Dude, he freaking snapped. He fucking snapped. We're so stupid following our politicians, whether they are Republicans or Democrats. And their only job is, hey, let's make these people not like each other. We don't live in their neighborhoods. We all got money. Let's make the whites and blacks not like, like each other. Dude, is that was crazy? that a now this? Was that now this? Who who published this, Matt? Go down. New York Post. Okay. Dude, New York Post official post and it only has eight thousand views. That's why it doesn't seem real. It's de- being suppressed, bro. No, this is an actual thing that happened. Charles Barkley literally snapped on live television. Man, I. Is this a different clip? No, this is the same one. Most white people and black people are great people. I really believe that in my heart. But I think our system is set up where our politicians, whether they're Republicans or Democrats, are designed to make us not like each other so they can keep their grasp of money and power. Dude. I mean, he just said it. Dude. I mean, yeah, you, can't, you can't say it any better than that. He's for real. We don't have control over it, bro. Yeah, but that ha- that, that brings the question of are, if they're on the same team and it's obviously what, what, what's the then you have to ask what's the one thing that they're trying to both do right 
What's the one thing that they're trying to achieve? Money. Money is one. And pussy. Well, they were probably both on Jeffrey Epstein's island, let's be honest. Yeah. Definitely both on Jeffrey Epstein's island. But they just want power. It's just a different type of human being. Like, me and you, I was actually thinking about this on the road. It's like, there's a certain person that that wants power, right? That would be you. No, I don't really even, I don't like Are you saying power. that would be me? Because you said you were thinking about me and no, you. No, it's not, no, 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 I said it's not me. It's not, it's, there's a different person other than me and you. Like, a different oh. breed of person that just wants, ev- wants more. They want more every time they, they want, they want to not have anyone above them, you know? But there's, like, as far as you can go, up and up and up. Like, Jeff Bezos, I'm sure there's someone who is, who has dirt on Jeff Bezos and is more powerful than Jeff Bezos, you know? And then you have to ask the question, of who's the guy on the top? He's probably Chinese, 100%. I'm just saying. Where, where did, where, Chinese? Chinese. Above Jeff Bezos. Yes. Even though he's having a bunch of little kids do his work. There's 100% go ahead, chance. Go ahead and justify why you said Jeff Bezos is, is having the Chinese do his work we're in the middle of a war with the Chinese, even though we don't see it. No, I'm saying that when it all comes down to it, China is like, dude, do you know China's buying up like tons of land in America? Right, right now? Right now. That's not true. Yes, they really? own like, they own like a ton of real estate in um, like New York and stuff. Mm-hmm. They just buy apartments and just leave it empty. They just buy it. I don't know. No, I don't know why they do it, but there's so much space Would in New York that's being. Would you say it's to quarter being, soldiers? I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're sending sleeper agents here, and then they snap the fingers and boom, action from the inside. We just hatched a conspiracy theory right now. It's not conspiracy. It's true. Well, it could if be. If me and you I mean, came up with it, it has to oh, be okay, true. Okay, yeah, true. If we're me, if me and you are talking about it, it's 100 percent true. Speaking of conspiracies, I wanted to ask you this question. Why is there only black and white photos, like mostly black and white photos of Martin Luther King Jr.? Because it was old? No. Let me tell you the dude. Let me tell you. Well, actually. Spit it. Kind of true, but. Go ahead. So, <clears throat> Martin Luther King, you know, was an African American Baptist minister and activist who became the most visible spokesperson and leader in the American Civil Rights Movement from 1955 until. His assassination in 1968. So, let me give you this stat. By 1960, color was much more com- Color photograph was much more common than black and white. There's some colored photos of MLK. Yeah, I know there are, but there's there has to so. Be right. I haven't seen them. I can't mm. think of them off the top of my head. Go ahead, finish your point. But the but the whole conspiracy is that they make it black and white so you think it was farther back in time than it actually was in your head when he was fighting for civil rights as recent as like 50 years ago yes literally in some of our grandparents lifetimes literally people were alive when mlkj was alive literally but they want to make it think that you it was so long ago but it's like we've accomplished so much in such a short period of time you realize that Hmm. like it's like a good thing to think about like it wasn't that long ago. That's good. We've accomplished so much in just fifty years. I want to. I want to talk about how, like, something I've always talked about, which is just like our thought on what we owe people of other races, as me and you being white guys, versus other people that did try to genocide people of the same color about fifty years ago. 60 70 now at this point it's 2020 but mm. oh yeah so we're so we're talking about this are you talking about world war ii uh, yeah i am talking about world war ii i'm talking about hitler and i am talking about everyone in germany being behind killing the jews and ratting them out just so they didn't get in trouble mm. that's a, that's the whole quote that's one of my favorite quotes is they came for the pu- they came for the journalist i did nothing because i wasn't a journalist they came for the media i did nothing because i wasn't the media they came for the uh entertainers i did nothing because i wasn't an entertainer they came for the Jewish people. I did nothing because I wasn't a Jewish person. And then they came for me, and I didn't. And there was no one left pr- to protect me. Right. Right. It's because the people that they go for. You you. You don't have to defend because you don't have any stake in their cause, right? Okay. All right. All right. Let's make it funny. Oh. Are you ready? 
So we've been spending too much time being serious. Yeah, it is pretty. This is a pretty heavy yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to talk about something funny. Um, we're, we might have to cut something here. M- MLK says, hey, listen. He's So he's on an airplane. <laughs> MLK Jr., like he does. Mm-hmm. He says, I'm on, I'm on an airplane. What's the deal with What's the segregation? Deal with- What's go ahead. A, is that a Seinfeld bit? Okay, MLK is no, on go, stage. I need you to go He's on. Saying, I'm just setting the stage. I had a dream that segregation. My kids could on go an, to school. This is on an airplane. That my kids could go to school and ride the same of plane. Of course they can. Okay. Not at the time. He said, I had a dream that my kids could ride the same plane as the white kids. Okay. Yeah, no, <laughs> this is all cut. This is all. Can we, we need to make a better MLK joke that's more tasteful. Um, I would like you to leave in the fact that we did have to cut something, though, because it just shows how quirky and edgy we are. That was um, cut. Okay. Well, just go ahead and cut. Wait, I've got a good one. I'll set it up for you, and I need you to finish it. Okay. Like, go off each other. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. It's a Sunday afternoon, day of the Lord, because mm-hmm. you are a preacher's kid. Mm-hmm. Um, MLKJR walks into a bar that's uh, it oh that's I have to complete the joke yeah okay MLKJR walks into a bar and walks says walks into a it rhymes MKL, MKLJ <laughs> <laughs> alright welcome back MLKJR walks into a bar and I have to complete the joke yeah and asks the waiter can I use the bathroom Yeah, it does. We're going to keep doing this until we find a good MLK joke that's somehow still tasteful. <laughs> I don't think you can make Go it. ahead, hit me. Hit mm-hmm. me. Do it. All right. Set me up. Um, you want an M- MLK joke? Okay, MLK, J- M- MLK Jr. is on a, um, on a boat with, um, with Barack Obama, Jeff Bezos, and George Bush. Go. All right. MLK says to Obama, I have a dream. And Obama's like, I agree with that. Uh, We need integration of our society. And then they integrate. You're right. That was funny. Do you like that? (laughs) Obama had it. Obama says, I believe in putting the kids in cages. With that same hand gesture. I believe I did not have sexual <laughs> I relations did not with be that woman. Bill Clinton. I did not <laughs> have sexual relations with that woman. Can we have one more take? One more take. Okay. Throw it away. I like that I'm not the one that has to go through all this. Yeah. Um MLK Jr. and uh Obama are in the back of a cop car. Mm-hmm. That's it. Go on. Should we just move on? Everyone's going to be so disappointed because I think this started with a joke. Wherever you edit this out, it started where we were supposed to have a joke about MLK and it's funny. We've cut like 14 jokes. But, but nothing can we be funny four, about this. We've cut like 14 jokes that just like don't land. One of them was literally a 9-11 joke. It lands. It depends on where you are. It lands. One of them landed in the Twin Towers. <laughs> Not a good joke. Not a good joke. Well, it, <laughs> yeah. was a good, it was a good joke. It would probably would have... <laughs> it would not be good. Okay, let's just... Uh, just no, go. we can't move on. Okay, Martin Luther King... We literally need one thing. Uh, dude, there is n- uh, dude, you can't make Martin Luther King Jr. funny, can you? MLK Jr. goes on a walk to clear his head. <laughs> Okay, let's move on. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. That's good. That's like um, that's like the um. Uh, what was his name? Uh, what was what was that president? JFK. JFK went on a drive to clear his head. Yeah, MLK went on a walk to clear his head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At a protest. That's pretty good. I think that's the only way we can finish this, and that that's still very distasteful. But shut up and quit listening if you're a <sighs> pussy. <clears throat> So did you speak? Did you did you hear, did you hear about Lil Nas X? 
you hear about Lil Nas X? <laughs> no. What? Did he get more titties? No, he, um, did you see the, Wait, oh, did he you see the music video? Yeah, did you want to watch it? Let's watch it right now, okay, let's yeah. watch it. I'll, I'll cut to the end of us watching it, but we'll I watch think, it. I think Natasha heard it because she started giggling. In life, <laughs> we hide the parts of ourselves we don't want the world to see. Montero. We lock them away. It's actually kind of a, it's actually kind of a fire song. Is it really? We banish them. What? He says, Call me when you want, call, call me, me when, when you need. need. I was saying, Matt, what is this song? Because it was in the titty jumping video when, when Lil yeah. Nas had titties. And I said, What is this? And you're like, I was playing a song and you're like, Oh, Holiday, that song's already out. This song That's wasn't song. out yet. That's the no, song. No, no, no. Holiday. Oh, was so out. he was leaking this song. Yes, he was leaking this song in uh, those, and you were saying, I think it's already out, and I was like, no, I don't think so. It's not out yet. But this is it. This is that song. Okay, just okay, go okay, on. Okay. Just That's go from on. a previous podcast. But do you remember when I was bringing that up? Yeah, yeah. When he's bouncing. Dude, he's such a vibe, though. Look how happy he is doing what he's doing. He doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> Dude, I love this guy. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. What? I said I love this guy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like, does this not make you happy? Yeah, it's pretty dope. I like this is the coolest music video I've ever seen. No, it's definitely One, a cool music video. It's a cool music video, but the fact that he just doesn't give a shit about going where he's going. Oh, oh everyone oh. else is like, this is so yeah. taboo, I'm not going there. And he's literally oh, like, you mean the I am going the straight I'm making out with myself and then I'm going straight to hell to dance on Satan. That is I'm the coolest shit I've ever seen. Ass. And, and then the wait. whole time I'm like bobbing my head side to side, I'm like, I'd drive to this. Call me when you need. Yeah. Call me when you Yeah. Yeah, it's a yeah. good it's it, Let's watch the rest of them. This guy's pretty fucking cool. He didn't even react. Wait, Satan did not react. Oh? Is that symbolic? Oh. My god. Wait, Matt. Wait. What? Did you see the ending? Yeah, the ending. Crazy. Was, did he become Satan? Yes, he killed. He, he so he he worked his way to get to Satan, twerked on Satan, gave him Satan the treatment, and then <laughs> popped to, to, to Satan's head, put on the the Satan. But it was head. so slow. Yeah, it but was it's good. just a music video. It's, it's symbolic. Music. I mean, he wasn't gonna actually twist the dude's. He head. wouldn't. You wouldn't kill Satan for a music video. That's pretty edgy. If you I mean, actually killed Satan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, that's a cool video though, right? I mean, this dude I makes the coolest videos. Is that on Spotify makes, yet? Makes the coolest that, videos. Literally, that was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. It was seen. the coolest video I've I ever actually seen in my life. seriously dead ass and putting that on my playlist on repeat. It's for really probably good. a week. Yeah. Yeah. I really like Call that. Call me by your name. Call, Call me, me when you want. want. Call me when you need. Yeah, that's a Call good me song. When you need. And I only masturbated I'm gonna twerk to it on four Satan. times. Wait, what? <laughs> so he's <laughs> making this. He's making. He made a shoe. Oh, I heard about this. Did but you I hear about I, the I have no shoe? idea what this is about. I heard so about did you see this Satan shoe. suit? Satan Something shoe? about human blood. So he, yeah. So he has this shoe. Wait, is there actual human blood in this shoe? It's one drop of human blood. He's making it's. But a, it's for a, real, for sale. It's a yeah. It's a one. It's a one run. First, first come, first serve. It's gone 600, now. Right? Six hundred, six hundred and sixty-six shoes to sell. And it, but it actually has a drop of human blood in it. I think so. And it's gone now, right? Well, I think we I need think to look so. this up. Matt, he, Matt, if it's did. still available, no matter how much it is, we're both buying a pair. Holy shit! No, That's, I'm Matt, gonna buy. No, I'm buying the Chick Fil A shoe. Chick Fil A is a shoe. <laughs> yeah, they, it has holy water instead of the blood on the. Is that true? No. Did they? <laughs> I would literally. I would buy this shoe. Look at that picture of him. Yeah, but the 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 bad thing is Nike was not thrilled with this, and they're suing him. Wait, but that's a Nike shoe. Yeah. Then how? How did it get through if they're not thrilled about it? So, you know how people can, like, customize paint shoes and stuff? Mm -hmm. He went through one of those companies, and they're putting out a custom shoe. And it was a custom Nike shoe, though. Yeah, so Nike's filed a restraining order or something I against Lil Nas? Him. Yeah. They're pussies. Yeah, I know. They're just scared about what everyone thinks. No, I, you know what I think they're doing? I think they're trying to cover their ass and be like, oh, yeah, look, this is not cool. We don't support Satanism. Not cool. Hey, it didn't spill. Don't worry. Oh, my God. <laughs> So this is not cool. This is Satan, but we're also not going to straight up promote Christianity. And yeah, whatever. yeah. But Satan's true. bad. Well, Fucking pussies. Stand not, for something. It's not. Say like, it with your chest. 
<laughs> Nike's a bunch of pussies. Dude, Nike's a company. They won't say it with anything, dude. They can't. You won't do Satan. What are you going to do, Christian? No. no. Shut the fuck up. They're pussies. Well, that's what I do. Nata Natasha. No, that's literally what I do, though, Nick. What? I'm not, I'm not Christian, but I'm not a Satanist. You can just believe in nothing. Okay. I'm, an, I'm a nihilist. But they're literally appeasing people with this. Oh, it's the most pussy shit I've ever I think seen. It's, just, vir it's just virtual. It's just virtue signaling. They're just trying to tell people. They're like, saying, "I don't believe in Satan." Yeah, yeah. that's what the, that's all they're doing. That's You're pretty right. much all they're doing. You're right. Dead ass, I would kill to have one of those pairs of shoes. Those shoes are probably those so shoes are cool. Right? If they actually Dude, have, let human me look blood. on StockX right now. Wait, keep on talking. Let me look on StockX to see I how much those kill. cost. I would kill to have one of those shoes. Let how much see. do I have to pay? They're probably gone now, and they probably cost a lot in the first place. But a if they didn't, nods. I am so. If they cost three hundred dollars or less, I am sad that I didn't get a pair. Dude, it's not even on stock X yet. Wait, are they not out yet? Wait, when's it going live? Little Those shoes aren't out yet. Oh my god, he's gonna if he's building up hype, it's gonna cost Dude, way more it's than three hundred. It's gonna cost way more than three hundred. But if I'm, they have I'm, actual drops of human blood. Oh, Nike Nike wins halt uh halt of sales and Lil Nas X. Wait, so you can't shoes. buy him. Yeah, I guess he stopped him selling them. But they already made six hundred of those. Imagine how they're gonna—they're still gonna get rid of them. Somehow. They're gonna get rid of them. It's gonna go black market, and then those things are gonna pop up on. Those might be the most expensive shoes, in ever, you know. So wait, look. is it like the is the drop of human blood in the bottom part? Mm -hmm. Is that what I'm getting? In the in the like the juice in the bottom. You the see juice the, that gives you the jumps, the, the good the, jumps, the jump juice. That's like literally to me. That is the coolest thing ever. Yeah, I would love to have. Like a drop of any kind of animal's blood in my shoes on a daily basis. It's it's dope. It's a flex. No, but would you wear them actually? I would wear them out. Holy shit, that's badass. I don't give a shit. That's badass. I literally was whipping out satanic Bible quotes. You think I'm not gonna wear Lil Nas's shoes, dude? If you wear one of those, if dude, I, I'm telling you, if we you if you wear them anywhere, it's like driving off of a lot with Who's a brand gonna new know? car. Okay, this is a very niche thing of people that are gonna know about Lil Nas's shoes. Everyone knows about Lil Nas' shoes. Okay, do you think I could ask my dad? Yes. I think you could probably my ask dad your dad. My dad would not know. He's like, do, have you heard about the Sa Satan shoe? Ask him about the Satan shoe. He's calling his dad right now. Satan shoe, go. <sighs> Let me go. Call me when you need. Call me I'm not going to put this on speaker because my dad's a more like... But I'll tell you exactly what he says. I'm calling him in the actual soles of the shoes where sometimes you see on the bottom like of Nike shoes it's like bubbly and it's like better for jumping or running or whatever there's actual human blood in them a and drop he, a single and drop he, yeah, and he only made 666 pairs have you heard about this no 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 shit okay I had a point and then my parents like talking more than they need to like than what I need them for <laughs> No, it's fine. Don't worry about Just it. Just cut it whenever it ends. We can... I don't know. What, wait, why did I call him? About Lil Nas's shoes. Oh, yeah, I think he just basically said... He basically just said no. Just cut back. He said no. Yeah. Yeah, you had a 15-minute conversation after that. <laughs> yeah, but he seems good. talking about his life, and I can't hang up on him because he is the guy that donated my mom's sperm to make me. Oh, really? Allegedly. Allegedly. No, you definitely look like your dad. I do. I get that a lot. I fucking yeah. hate it. You do look like your dad. You hate that? Yeah, I don't like looking like my dad. Why not? Trauma. Oh, trauma? Trauma. When I see my dad, I see someone that made me sad. Fair enough. I'm just kidding. <sighs> All right, let's see. Should we watch some TikToks to finish this out? Sure. <clears throat> All right, and you have made it to the TikTok segment of today. Um, I don't know how many of these are good TikToks. My TikTok has been kind of dry lately, but I saved some. Let's see this one. Yo, what's up? Quick story time. So the worst thing that ever happened on set in re regards to a request was a young lady was like, hey, um, can I can I gobble your glizzy a little bit? Um, I want to call my husband and show him he likes that stuff. I'm like, what? I'm like... She was like, yeah, just, I'm just going to get down there real quick and I'm going to call him. You know, it's just like this role play thing that we do. I'm like, oh, I guess. 
you know? Hey, go ahead. Gobble away. So she gets down there, she grabs the glitz or whatever, get ready to give the cup to the house. And uh, she grabs the phone, answers the phone, hey baby, guess what I'm doing? He was like, what? Show me. She turns the phone to me, and uh, I was like, I hope you're enjoying that. She does this because she loves you. And then she just goes at the glizzard. And he's like, that's what's my girl. That's my girl. I can't wait till you get home. Don't brush your teeth. <laughs> Poor guy. That's, pretty, brush your that's teeth. pretty cool, though, huh? I don't. Your girl went out and said, and you said, don't brush your teeth after she's been fucking another dude. Hey, yo, gobble that glizzy. Don't brush your teeth. Don't brush your teeth when you come back. All right, let's watch this one. You know what? You're not that hard. Because take a, take a shot of tequila with that. You're going to have to balance can't. that. Bitch, sorry. Stop shit to make the hood go crazy. Is that Dwayne? Dude, that's Dwayne. He has Dwayne his own tequila. Rock. That's Dwayne. And, he and makes he's, his own tequila. And he's downing a full bottle. Look. Okay, I'm looking. On the interstate doing 180. <laughs> she said, Do it for me, baby. Took a double shot and then we all went crazy. She's probably just white like girls go crazy. <laughs> I'm still the people's champion. Enjoy your ceremony. Boom, boom, boom. Wait, was that just an ad for his tequila? Dude, that is crazy. The dude's so huge that, I mean, he, he drinks, he eats he so did many that, calories. He know he's not even close to blackout. He's not even close. If I drank nearly that much, I would be blacked the fuck Dude, if you out. drink the first clip of what he did, you'd be gone. Nah, I'm drinking more than the first. Matt. That was like three shots Beyond. on the first Matt. one. Matt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I could go do, if I did two clips, I'd be blacked out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I won't press it. How about you? I mean, how long, how long until the, that should I be the rock challenge. probably equal Dwayne Johnson, probably. No, you couldn't. No, you couldn't. Well, he you'd probably be, doesn't have an alcoholism you problem. Would, you would be blacked out after three three shots no three of those chugs that he did how many shots do you think he had in each chug three i think i'm like 10 no right now. I, no i think you're how many I beers think, have i had i think you're a nine homie bro whatever no, i'm just we're saying, not arguing about it okay <laughs> i'm just it's saying okay. i'm just saying you're not the rock play the sonic the dude's play, 250 play, pounds play the sonic i know i'm not the rock play the he's sonic. a huge motherfucker and the young woman break the glass ceiling and prove once and for all that a female oh, can be just as good an athlete as a male. Yeah, this is you know, Amy, anytime someone calls attention to the breaking of gender rules, it ultimately undermines the concept of gender equality really by implying okay. that this is an exception and not the status quo. What? Just because I'm a meathead doesn't mean I'm not a feminine. Dude, I don't know how that could be. Is that real? It is real. That's crazy. It was around like four years ago. But that, the thing is, kids don't. I do. I barely understand half the words he said. What do you say? Fem, feminism? Feminism? No, he said when you call attention to the problem, it undermines the like. The fact that it's not the status quo. Yeah. 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 I mean, but a kids show, none of them understand any of those words. Yeah, that's adult humor. I mean, there. status quo. Might as well be speaking a different language for kids. Yeah. You spit and hate though. We gotta bring attention to what's been happening to the Asian community. But we have yeah, to be the first ones to come up with a catchy name. Come on. Yeah. Throw some ideas. Come on, Ooh. come on. Asian Lives Matter. We can't take that one because, you know, they're gonna say we're cocky and BLM. So we just can't I got one. one. Asian Lives Matter as well. I like that one. That one, that one's kind of catchy. Ooh. I kinda, Ooh. Asians are human. I like that one because I never thought of it that way. They are human. They are. Um, Small eyes realize real lies. I think that's the one. That's the what? one. What? No, that's not the one. Like, first of all, why do we even need a catchy phrase just so we can put it on hats and t-shirts to bring attention to an important problem? Like, doesn't that just mark the situation and turns it into a trend? The situation obviously has our attention, so why don't we just immediately act on it and bring them justice for the racial crimes committed against them? Maybe black lives don't matter. All right, guys, keep throwing <laughs> ideas. Come on, Ooh, I got one, I got <laughs> I like that one. That, I mean, that guy's so good. I mean, every one of his TikToks is such, such a banger, and he puts out so many of them. He's such such a good, such a high tier. Oh, you might like this one. 
So Jenna, the dog girl, repeatedly gets banned off TikTok, but she always shows back up on my page in a new account. She thinks she's a dog. And she has like a master who makes him like, who makes her drink out of like a bowl. Oh yeah. And do like, one time she peed her cage and he put her in time out and he takes her out and goes to the dog part and she walks around with the dogs and stuff. Yeah. And she has a huge OnlyFans. I'm Huge, sure. Huge, massive OnlyFans. Wait, what is it? <laughs> Jenna the dog girl, I think, or something like that. Yeah, just add that to your notes real quick. Dude, speaking of OnlyFans, did you hear about, um... Jeffrey Epstein? No, did you hear about, um, the freaking, that girl who's... Meet me outside, how about that? Bad Baby. Bad Baby made an OnlyFans, like, right when she turned 18, and she instantly broke the world record for m most money made... In a day for OnlyFans. One million dollars in a day. OnlyFans. Now, my question to you. Is it creepy to sign up for like a fresh 18 account? That is well, a little weird. Can like, you plug in my phone? It's dead. And I <laughs> want to keep this on the record. I need to remember this. Yeah, bad baby. Bahad ba bahad yeah, Bahabi. That's definitely creepy. Bahad Bahabi? Yeah, behind my hobbies. I know, dude. There are so many people down bad during this quarantine. But it's like, it's a little weird. Like, if you did that the day before, it'd be illegal. But just the day of, a million dollars in one day. She broke the record by Bell, Bell, um, not Bell Delphine. Delphine. No, not Bell Delphine. The other Bella Thorne. Does she have an OnlyFans? Yeah, she had the she is. had the highest she had the highest one before this. But that is crazy. And people are saying that she's been, she was being groomed since she was like 15 to have like an OnlyFans and being over sexualized. Mm -hmm. It's just like fucked up, whole fucked up situation. All right, let's watch this. Ooh, this is a good one. This is like a domi domi dominatrix, dominatrix okay, on TikTok. Where's, where's punishment? This is the worst punishment she's ever given to a slave. She does like Q and A with people. One time, a sub came over to my house to clean for me, and he was too hungover to work. So I made him count a bowl of rice, and when he got to 600-something, I dumped it all out and made him start over. That dude probably got rock hard from that shit. He was simping? <laughs> well, people, she said a sub came over to my house to clean. That's like a sub, like a cuck kind of dude, you know? Yeah. And she makes him, she forces them to do shit, and she's, like, dressed up in her little, like, probably, like, whip outfit mm -hmm. and she's like count those rice and he did it and he's getting rock hard he's like 552 and he's like doing these laborious tasks and then she, and she pours it out. it out and then that's when he climaxes would you not from that no i don't understand how that's even a thing because she's dominating you she knows what she wants i don't i don't understand how that could be even a thing she loves it she's so into it you're so into what she's into no no, no. some people get off that she's not interested you know she's just like now count those rice and then she'll go into the room and read a book or something you know just be like oh fuck <laughs> i'm about to bust <laughs> i gotta get one from this guy do women still want a ring on their finger or do y'all just want a collar around your neck <laughs> dude he's he's changed <laughs> oh he's changed I don't understand that one at all. The only thing I could think of was the Jenna the dog girl. You just want a collar around your neck. Do girls want to, do women want a ring around their finger or a collar around the neck? Mm. <laughs> I don't understand that He's one at all. He's got a point. He's got a point. Really? You can't pretend like you don't understand it. I don't. Do you want a ring around your finger? Or are you a dirty little sex hoe? That's what he's saying. Uh, Call her around your it neck. really is Jenna the dog girl. Yeah. He's saying all girls are Jenna the dog girl. Yeah. Well, we could is use that a couple. Neil deGrasse Tyson that you're yeah. sticking out on. He's talking about simulation think... theory. We were living in a simulation. I used to think we were living in a simulation. Then I talked to some colleagues, did some more reading, and now I feel a little better that. He's probably old. not. Fuck. 
Dude, people the say argument that this guy's so for smart. it was you get a real universe, and then people in there get really smart, and they program computers, and they create worlds. And the people in that world don't know that they're fake. All right? And then they evolve, and they develop computers, and they create a world, and they create a world. And this goes all the way down. And so there's the real world and all the worlds that can create worlds, except the last one, which is still working on it. Eventually, they'll get there. All right, throw a dart. Chances are you're going to hit a world that's simulated. That's us. But we don't know how to make an actual simulated world is, where everybody thinks it's real. Wait. So either we're the last of those worlds that's still working on it, or we're the first one, which is actually real. I'm good with this is like what you're talking about not he, too long ago. Dude, but no, but he literally disproved himself in that argument. And I can prove it. So he said that so in the in his simulation theory, it's there's one world and they create a world. That's the OG world, right? They created two simu they create a simulation and that world figure out how to make a simulation. They make a simulations and then they make simulations, they make simulations and and they all work up, they all evolve and create simulations. And then, so his theory is if you throw a dart on the board, what is the chance that you land on the OG world? One in, like, quintillion, right, you know? But what is the chance that you land on one of the worlds that's still working on it? It's like... He says, what, what is the chance that you land on the world that's still working on it? He said, it's pretty good. But I'm like, dude, you just disproved your argument that we're not living in a simulation because if you throw the dart the 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 spot with the most strands is always the last level right because they make them they make them they make them so if you throw a dart it's always going to be at least like 50 percent that you're going to hit one of the ones on the bottom right if you were to jumble them all up one of the ones that was still working on the simulation is still in a simulation the chance that we live in a simulation. He didn't prove anything. He's like, I used to think we were living in a simulation. Dude, you disproved your argument. Everyone says this guy's so smart, but I don't understand it. Well, have you listened to anything else besides this one TikTok? Well, I mean, he definitely has, he knows big words. He does know big words. He knows big words. If you watch Cosmos, it proves he knows big words. Dude, and if you listen to, the most infuriating episode of Joe Rogan is when he's on it because he just cuts him off all the time. Joe Rogan's like, well, that's pretty interesting. He's like, well, actually. He's like, and then he just cuts him off all the time. Why all is right. your Phantom Power Supply in the corner with just sad, nothing attached to it? What's this? Hi, kids. Do you like vibe? Oh, dude, this is actually pretty cool. This is pretty cool. This is Eminem, but an AI made Eminem if he was in 2021, like rapping about real things. Okay. Hi, kids. So someone used but an AI to recreate... Eminem. M old Eminem to have a rap about modern topics. Hi kids, do you like violence? Hi kids, do you like violence? Fuck Wanna yeah. see me dye my hair bright green, just like Billy Eilish? So edgy. Wanna copy me and do exactly like I did? Yeah. I lean and get fucked up worse than my life is? Oh, my brain's dead weight, these zanies keep my head straight, but I can't figure out which K-pop girl I wanna impregnate. And some random bitch on Twitter said, your album fucking sucks ass, I think I'd rather listen to Drake instead. Okay. Dude, wouldn't that be... Dude, I, I just wish... That, that almost feels like the real deal, though. It does. Yeah. It does. Because he's, like, rapping... He's, he's like, almost, dissing, on, it almost dissing is, on Billie Eilish. It's almost as fluent as the actual Eminem song. Yeah. Yeah, it's super good. Dude, I, I just want a full song of this. It's just, like, old it's Eminem... Like, why'd you cut me off? Old Eminem rapping about to modern AI topics. to make it sound... Like that much like Eminem. Dude, AI can do anything at this point. They can deep fake him. They can make a whole music video of Eminem literally nowadays. Probably just using AI, you know? A deep fake. That was good. I mm. like that. All right, I got one more video. This was at a bookstore. Okay. At Barnes & Noble that I made. This was, I made, I made this. Don't stand this is, this is, a, this is in the kids book section. It's a book called Don't Stand Close to Me with a mask on it for kids. Eric Walters. Let me read you the uh, thing. 13-year-old Quinn and her friends can't believe their luck when spring break is extended two extra weeks, even if it's because of some virus. 
But when the impact of the worldwide COVID-19 pandemic becomes apparent, everyone, not just the students, has to learn to adjust to their new reality. Quinn's father is an ER doctor and has, a self, has to self-isolate to protect his family from, his vi- from the virus. Isaac's mother... Who's Isaac? Isaac's mother is the chief of police and now has to enforce new physical distancing bylaws. Reese can't visit his grandmother in in her care home anymore and their entire school has moved to online classes. Sacrifices have to be made to keep everyone safe. But there's more to life than rules and scary new reports. In an effort to find some good in all the uncertainty, Quinn comes up with an idea that she hopes will bring her community together. Okay, <laughs> so is, so the interesting is... thing about this, I wish I... Did, you didn't take this one, me and you just went to Barnes, did you? No, 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 no. Because we was... just went. Yeah. We just went like a couple days ago. <laughs> Godzilla vs. Kong. <laughs> That's that's when we went. This book is so. But, I don't know why I find this so is, funny. The thing, no, it's funny because it's true. It's, is one. It's so. But funny. the fact is, like nothing until the very end of that paragraph is something that would actually be remotely interesting. But it's actually happening in our world. Like what this is saying. <laughs> like it's funny because it's like fiction and it's like a crazy story. But it's like. It's actually happening. I want to know actually what happens in this story and what makes it actually actually able to be sold as a book well the the last line quinn comes up with an idea that she hopes will bring the community together can you guess what the idea was do you know did you skip ahead yeah yeah what was it so she creates she goes on instagram and twitter and comes up with a new hashtag every week that you're lying and it's she, her idea is something lives matter and every mm-hmm. month she'll bring up a new lives matter really no, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Thanks for listening. Yo, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, um, leave a like, leave a follow. Um, honestly, just listening to it, uh, spreading the word, telling a friend about it helps the most. That being said, hope you have a nice day. Peace out.